TV, Gray County. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. We are broadcasting from downtown Meaford as we get set for the Meaford Scarecrow Parade and Family Festival. You wouldn't think that it's evening. When I think this is one of the most beautiful evenings that we've had for, for this parade. I'm Jamie Pettit and I'm joined by a, a very familiar face to the Meaford community. Thank you very much. Rob Yurick joining you as well. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We've had a lovely fall and this is very fortuitous that we've got such a beautiful evening for this. You've taken off your council hat and like me, you have a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> though, though, though mine is uh, a very pirate theme because um, I, I guess pirates is really the, uh, the theme for this year and uh, just looking around town I mean unbelievable some of the displays that we've seen and it, it just never fails to impress the amount of creativity that go into these scarecrows from year to year. No the town's really come alive and we know that there's going to be about 34 entries I believe it is in the parade today so it's going to be fun and for the whole family and we're really looking forward to presenting it for everyone. Absolutely things are starting to uh, get pretty busy downtown and uh, we'll be back in a moment as the parade gets underway. And we're off. The flashing lights. Oh, there we go. Looks like we got the fire truck starting off uh, following the cruiser, obviously. Yeah, Rob Pilon, I believe, uh, the, the uh, head of the Meaford Fire Department. So, shout out to our hardworking men and women in uniform. And Sparky. <laughs> of course. That is Sparky, right? Yes. I don't want to mix up my mascots on television. <laughs> Yeah, coming by the Leaky Canoe. It's nice to see that many people on the uh, on the main street. I know my, my son is out there this evening and he's going to appreciate the police car. <laughs> yeah, I think the kids in general, they really enjoy the fire trucks. Thirty-four participants this year. Very uh, diverse range of local businesses and organizations participating. Really nice to see everybody coming out this evening. A beautiful night for it. Yeah, we're very lucky with that. The weather's been phenomenal and uh, I think it's going to continue. The nice thing is uh, with, the, um, with the Apple Harvest Craft Show this weekend in Meaford as well, it's going to be a great weekend for that as well because that really does bring a lot of people into town. One of the largest, actually, um, the Apple Harvest Craft Show in southern Ontario, uh, apparently close to 200 artisans and crafters. Absolutely. So I believe that first truck is, that's the 1938 Bickle. With Sparky, obviously, Vin on board. Vintage is an understatement. <laughs> And obviously, we would be remiss if we didn't mention this. I mean, this is the 20, 26th annual um, Scarecrow but Parade, but it, obviously the, uh, the theme this year, for those who don't know, is pirates. So you should see an abundance of pirates this year, as uh, you can tell by the uh, right off the front. There is Steve Bartley, one of our counselors, uh, who is walking alongside the, uh, the fire truck. <laughs> one might wonder how pirate theme would clash with a scarecrow, but I, th I think it works. It, it does, yeah. Every year they come up with something interesting, and I think this, the, the town's really got behind it. There's been pirates everywhere. From so, the old to the new. Yes. Yes, we've got pump 311, truck pump 311, and we've got uh, the ladder truck 317. We've got an RTV and a rescue vehicle in there as well, so uh, the Meaford Fire Department is well represented. Lots of smiles and waves. Yeah, and, and you know what, it's a good time to give a shout out to our volunteer fire department. They, uh, they do a bang up job and obviously as a volunteer fire department, uh, they give an awful lot of time uh, of themselves 
and they put themselves in harm's way, which is, you know, which is no easy feat. Um, comes to mind the fire we had just recently out at uh, out at the at the uh, car shop, mm -hmm. and that was pretty devastating. But they did a great job. And while we're um, sending out kudos, of course, I mean the community in general, just the way they rallied to um, support this business. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Scarecrow. <laughs> yes, Val and Leroy Crow. Thank you very much for representing the Scarecrow Parade. I was actually on the uh, Facebook page for the Meaford Scarecrow Invasion, and um, just the cast of characters is phenomenal. <laughs> so there's actually a, a Captain Corvus Crowfoot um, on Tucker Street, I believe it is, and that's just one of the displays. But I mean, <laughs> to pick and choose a winner would be pretty difficult because there's just so much creativity that goes into this event. Absolutely. And of course, we're hearing the sounds of the Gray and Simcoe Forester Regimental Pipes and Drums. And the Colonel in Chief of that regiment is Princess Anne Commanding Officer Mike LaCroix. That regiment dates back to its formation in 1866 with the Armouries Known Sound in Barrie, Ontario. So wow. that's a well established organization. There's a military themed scarecrow. Yeah, we can. We would be remiss if obviously we didn't mention our, uh, our friends up at the 4th Canadian Division Training Centre. Uh, they're, they're proud to support and be in the uh, Scarecrow Invasion this year as well, driving uh, Milcott's light utility vehicle. There. I think. And A Sebring convertible from 2004. Yep, that would be Mayor Kentner and his wife, Ruth Ann. Um, they're, uh, <laughs> Ross loves that car. <laughs> He's, He's had that since day one and, and loves to bring it out for these kinds of special occasions. And now we have the municipality of Meaford. Well, I guess I should say a word as a councillor myself. It's proud to see there's Rod Willis driving the tractor through town. So uh, nice to see uh, some of our municipal staff out uh, taking part in the Scarecrow Invasion Parade as well. Hi, Rod. <laughs> Late 99 FM, radio station from here in town. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have a radio station in Meaford, um, and they do a great job for uh, covering local, co uh, local coverage and events. So they There's Georgie, Georgie from Christmas on the Bay in the back of that oh, truck. Oh, wow. So Christmas on the Bay, first event, first, first time event last year, uh, pretty amazing, Georgie the Gnome. So we had, they had 6,400 people through that event last year. It's a four-day uh, Christmas festival that happens in the uh, first week of December. So, yeah, they're so ex excited to partner with Straw Hat Renovations for this year's Christmas market. Absolutely. November 30th through December 3rd. The Ramoka Shrine Club. Can't have a parade without Absolutely, you, you stole the words. <laughs> Helping children through Shriners Hospitals with orthopedic conditions, burns, spinal cord injuries, and so much more. Yeah, a very worthy cause. Shriners, they do such good work all around the world, so it's, it's nice to see them out. Of course, it wouldn't be the same without those little cars bopping all around. Crime Stoppers, another good organization in, in Grey Bruce is trying to keep, that works with, uh, in conjunction with the OPP and, and communities trying to keep us safe, which uh, is greatly appreciated. Crime Stoppers, Grey Bruce uh, pays cash rewards between fifty and $2,000 for anonymous tip information that helps solve crimes. Yeah, I love their tagline, crime doesn't pay, but Crime Stoppers does. <laughs> it's worked for many years. <laughs> I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it should be Bayside Chrysler coming up. Yep. Bayside Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It's your local Meaford, uh, local Meaford dealer for new and pre-owned vehicles. Well, it looks like we have some handouts for the kids. <laughs> yes. In full scarecrow attire, of course. Here comes the pipe band. Yeah, that would be the McLaren pipes and drums. 
<coughs> excuse me, they're from Wyarton, Ontario. Fight Major Christopher McDougall and Drum Sergeant John Stewart. It's always nice when we have, um, you know, whether it's uh, bands or organizations that come from other communities. I know we've often seen that in the Owen Sound um, parades as well, where you have um, different participants from all over Grey Bruce. Well, tourism matters to all of us, so it's, it's great that communities can kind of share and cross-promote and help each other, yes. The Curling Club, which will be uh, one of the sites for the Apple Harvest Craft Show this weekend. Yes, absolutely, and that's a big curling stone. I saw some of those coming in earlier, and I wondered what the brooms were. I should have. I, I should have checked. Could you do like a pirate voice with the hurry, hurry, <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you could. <laughs> Not well. <but> you know. <laughs> the Red Door, another local restaurant, uh, that uh, great rib place that's just down the street. <laughs> There's a pretty scary looking pirate in the front. And, I, I was uh, going to ask if that was one of your co-counselors. <laughs> <laughs> but I noticed you, you see the, the, that's pretty clever with the cannons out off the side of the truck. Uh, full, uh, full marks for that, for that uh, decoration. Oh, I love the fall theme on this one. The Care Crows. The Care Crows. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the uh, uh, Home and Community Support Services, but I thought they were very clever with the Grey Bruce Care Crows. I remember several years ago when I worked in Meaford, there was um, uh, a rib competition, and they were called Scare Ribs. <laughs> I, I believe that uh, Marilyn Morris was, uh, you know, the... Puns, the who, puns yes. matter. Puns matter. <laughs> That's cute. But they do a great job with uh, seniors and adults living with disabilities with transportation, Meals on Wheels, housekeeping, day away programs, and overnight respite and friendly visiting. They do an excellent job. Well, wow, there's a 56 Mercury Monterey for all you car buffs. Owned by Roy and Edith Williams of Meaford. Apparently it was bought in Florida and came from there in 2016. And the exterior color is, I gotta get this right, persimmon and classic white. And the dirt dogs. If you have something if you have something done, why not call Dirt Dogs Servicing from Simcoe County to the Bruce Peninsula and more? Do you think they could clean my daughter's room? <laughs> <laughs> no comments. <laughs> there's somebody close to your heart. Uh, oh, first off, no, sorry, there's the Meaford Kinsman and Canets first. Another great service group service uh, club in town that does excellent work. They do such a good job in, in supporting so many um, events and causes. Our hats go off to the, those hardworking volunteers. Another local radio station. Yes, Mix 106.5. Everybody knows Bayshore Broadcasting, I'm sure, in the region. Oh, the Chic Hair Boutique. Yes, right on Sykes, Sykes Street. Offering everything from color foils, cuts, blow dries, and hair extensions. Yeah, absolutely. Not that I need any of that. I'm jealous, but I hear it's a great place yeah, to I go. Could, I could use a hair extension or two. <laughs> More pipes and drums? Yes, the Beaver Valley pipes and drums. Um, led by uh, Ewan, uh, Major Ewan Bruce and Drum Sergeant Garth Wilson. This you know, group, particular group was formed in 1960 and have taught many pipers and drummers from the local areas. Ah, the students from our new JK to grade 12 school, Georgian Bay Community School. Absolutely, that's great. Look at, look at some oh, of those costumes. They've had really good practice, actually, um, with the Scarecrow invasion. There, there was a, a Facebook post a couple of days ago where um, you know the, it was kind of like a whole school event that the, the kids got involved and just fantastic costumes. Yeah, they're, they're great. Just look at some of that stuff. That's brilliant. Nice to see those young, shiny, happy faces. Well, it's great to get uh, school participation on a Friday evening. It is. It absolutely is. <laughs> a few more young pirates and scarecrows. Yeah, it's everything from soup to nuts, which is great. I mean, again, this is a pirate theme, but 
we really are great to uh, so glad to see that there's so many different costumes and and the way the town's embraced all the different scarecrow uh, decorations so it's really really nice to see certainly worth uh, visiting downtown Meaford. I mean, I know that this is kind of the, um, I guess the peak is the, the big fall weekend, but of course this does continue until Thanksgiving weekend. So certainly worth, yes. worth uh, visiting, like even downtown Meaford where you have a lot of businesses with displays in their storefronts. Absolutely. Participation Lodge. Yeah, we got Jerry File, um, Bayside Pr Chrysler pulling the float for the Participation Lodge. <laughs> that was a nice skeleton costume that young man had on. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, they can Royal LePage locations north realtors in town. You can discover the beauty of Meaford through Royal LePage. And their expert agents are your guides to finding your dream home in our picturesque town. Stewards towing pirates. <laughs> they they just have to participate. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it seems rather appropriate. How did they get that boat on there? Just goes to show they can tow just about anything. <laughs> <laughs> I do like their 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 submission. You don't have to batten down the hatches. Stewards towing is here to hook your vehicle and tow your rig. <laughs> through gale force winds. <laughs> of course, the Meaford Knights hockey team. Yeah, we're really fortunate to have uh, these young players that uh, come to our, uh, our community every fall, and they ended up being billeted throughout the uh, community at uh, various locations. It's really heartwarming to see. And I will say, these, these young men, they do do a lot in the community. They end up volunteering for a lot of different events that help. They, that if you need manual labor, they kind of help and put it together and they show up at many events. So it's really nice to see their ambassador. And, and, and you, you might know better than I, but um, like I, I can't remember how many years ago that the Meatford Knights started, but like I would say like in a very short time frame, they've really become an integral part of the community. Absolutely, they've been welcomed and loved. So we wish them well for the upcoming season. Well, the Scarecrow Kazoo Band, <laughs> the world-famous Scarecrow, Scarecrow Kazoo Band. The motley crew of musical geniuses. <laughs> yep, all the way back from 2007. And they, again, they do a lot of, they're always at a lot of events for Meaford. And they're always recruiting, they're always looking for new members, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even sure I'm good at kazoo. I, I have no real musical in, uh, talent, and I'm not sure I'd be any good at kazoo either, but they make it look easy. And they certainly have a lot of fun doing it. Well, yes, having fun is their primary purpose. <laughs> There's some kids enjoying the parade. So <laughs> what's the fastest growing sport in Canada? In the world, actually. Pickleball. Pickleball? Yep. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. That, that how would not have been my guess, but... No, um, it, is, it is amazing how quickly this sport has captured the imaginations. And the cool thing about it is that literally anybody from kids to... They, I know there's 80-year-olds in the club as well. So it's kind of for everybody. It's a good way to get out and get exercise. And any sport that kind of helps to get some seniors out as well is a really good thing. I, I do know they're looking to try and get a permanent home. I know they use the arena right now, and uh, um, it's in the winter that's a little tough, but they so, have over 200 members. So. so still a relatively new club in town? Yes, but growing very quickly. I don't know whether they're knocking pickleballs into the crowd or not. I, mean, I hope they do it carefully. 
And if they do, can you keep the ball? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> On my way into town, I mean, everybody talks about the big apple that you associate with Meaford and, of course, the Chamber of Commerce that was, yep. you know, pivotal in, in, you know, the apple of being, you know, kind of like the center for tourism in town. Yep. There was actually, I noticed, a, a giant pumpkin as I came into town. <laughs> so I, th I think Southampton and Port Elgin have some competition this year. <laughs> Absolutely. I just, we just were, I would be remiss not to mention Caesar, the mini horse that went through there, which is uh, a mainstay as well for the last few years. Modern day porch pirates. In a good way, not the porch pirates that we've come to know that always <laughs> take the Amazon things, but these are the good porch pirates. And of course the OPP, uh, our Long-serving relationship with the OPP is well uh, well established in town. We thank them for helping keep our community safe. Yes, leading off the parade and then at the tail end, keeping everybody safe and moving along nicely. Absolutely. And you can just feel the excitement in the air as uh, families and everybody prepares to head down to the harbor where um, you know, a full slate of activities is set to take place this evening. Yep, full family festival down there afterwards and I, I encourage everyone to get down there and uh, enjoy some of the activities. There'll be lots of things going on down there for kids to enjoy, so good family fun for all. Four, three, two. Well, that was great. That was such a great parade, and it's such great. It's great to see the energy and all the participation of everybody in town. So, the, the really exciting thing is that this doesn't end here in Meaford. It's also the Apple Harvest Craft Show this weekend. So, there's still going to be lots of exciting things happening in Meaford over the weekend. So, we're hoping that people are going to stick around that. But I, I just want to thank you, Jamie, for um, allowing me to kind of join you on this, and it's it's been uh, been a lot of fun. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure for myself. I mean, many many moons ago, I used to uh, work in Meaford, so it really. Is it is interesting to come back to this uh, festival from year to year and see, uh, you know, the, the changes and the improvements. Of course, everybody now heading down to the harbor, as you mentioned. They call it the uh, the big fall weekend in Meaford. So um, we have uh, a lot going on at the Meaford Harbor Pavilion this evening. And as you mentioned, you know, throughout the weekend, can't forget about the Apple Harvest Craft Show. Yes, there will be a festival following this. Yeah, so, uh, right down at the harbor. So I hope everybody gets a chance, all the families get to go down there and have some fun. And uh, we'll see you next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. Dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit StopTrackTragedies.ca Understanding human nature can be a superpower. First 48 hours are critical. 